Hey guys, this is Aqua Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. And I just heard the mail person on its way, so I am stocking the mailbox right now. So I have a box coming in the mail. And yep, you guessed it. We're gonna be doing an unboxing of some fish. And I feel like whispering right now. I don't know what there she is. There she is. Oh my god. Okay, so I just got my order in from Imperial Tropicals. And let's see what we got here. So thank you for your purchase. That is the name of the company. This is my first purchase from them. And the number one thing I do look at is packaging. And it's always nice to see um, styrofoam in the box. Um, I'm huge on like making sure, especially with the winter and all, it being colder, like styrofoam boxing is like a plus. All right. Okay, so it looks like we've got some newspaper. And I'm not really sure what this is. I think it's, oh, it's insulation, it looks like. That is even better. We've got the heating pack here. It's still nice and nice and hot, or nice and warm. So I'm gonna set that aside. So I'm like, this is probably the best packaging I've seen in a, um, a box of live fish. And I'll show you. I'll tell you guys what I ordered here in a second. Let's see here. I'm gonna <laughs> dig through this like kitty cat litter. Reminds me of. Okay, that's really good. So I have right here uh, one female German blue ram, and this is actually warm. So let's make sure she's okay. My daughter here right now too. Let's see. Yep, she's alive. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, See her there she is oh my goodness she is beautiful okay so I'm gonna set her aside and then uh, we've got one more package I can't just order one fish you know if I can like ship something over to myself <laughs> I'm gonna get more than one fish uh, this is a $14.99 uh, flat rate so I felt like I'm getting one fish uh, might as well go ahead and at least make the shipping worthwhile Okay, so I've got a pair of uh, electric blue rams, and it looks like both of them are in good, good standing. I'm actually really super excited about these guys. So uh, stay tuned here in a second, and I will show you guys how to acclimate. Okay, so I've got my line right here, as you can see. I just pulled a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know. Every single time I end up filming my tank, like I just pulled everything out of my tank and, and it just looks horrible. Clip holding this in place. As you can see, I just did a water change earlier today because I wanted to make sure that they had clean water because um, it was time for a water change, and I didn't want to put them in there and then do water change. Just too much for them to handle. Um, so I have my bucket here. Now, there is... And I got my scissors right here, so give me a second, and I will open these and then put them in here. So I went ahead and put these little guys in here. I'm going to have to keep this angled, too, because there's just not enough water to um set it flat but uh this is i'm kind of kind of crazy i guess you could say uh these fish are really sensitive they can be if you don't have the right water for them so i want to kind of gauge exactly how warm this water is right now to find out um how fast i want this to acclimate so we're looking at a temperature of 74 Fahrenheit and then my water is about 81 to 82 it fluctuates between that too so they're gonna definitely will be happier with the warmer water so 
74 is pretty good for being shipped overnight or actually I think they got shipped on Monday night so it's pretty good compared to the 30 degree weather that we've been having at night so um usually I put like one of those little stoppers on here or the little air air the little air control thing but I couldn't find it so I just put a knot in here so that's what we're gonna do and then I'm just gonna drip accl acclimate them for about an hour and then I will um I will show you what uh what I do next okay guys it's been about 20 minutes and I have them in here um I wanted to show you guys how fast this is going so basically it's just stripping in here about like that and um, they're moving around great. And they don't look sluggish or anything like that. I'm sure they're hungry too. And what I like to do sometimes is I'll try to feed them some bloodworms before I put them into the tank. Um, just because I know they go through a fast for 24 hours usually. Okay, so it's been an hour. And so I've got to catch these guys, which rams to me are like probably the easiest fish to catch. So we got our German blue ram. And I always black out, um, always black, black out the tank. And I black the tank out for about 30 minutes and then I'll turn the light, each individual light on just because, um, oh my God, it is so pretty. Cannot wait to turn the light on and see these guys. Um, I I cannot wait to take pictures. All right, so I got one more. So, no, this one's a little. He's, he or she is like a little rascal. Let's see here. Okay, so here is my third one, and I will be back once we turn the lights on. All right guys, so it's the next day and basically I had the lights off for about, I'd say about 30 minutes and then I put on moonlight for the rest of the day just to keep them from getting too stressed out, but they're doing really well. There he is right here. And I think I got the other ones over here, let's see, yes. There's my blue ram right there. She's doing really well. And then I also have the female electric ram right here. Everyone seems really happy. So I can't believe how beautiful they are though. So where's she over there? They were a little uh, stressed out. They were climbing the, uh, the glass, but they're doing a lot better today. Let's see if I can get, there she is. So I always worry like the first couple of days. I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but usually if I get new fish, I, uh, the next morning I do like the walk of death <laughs> to the fish tank because I'm afraid that I'm gonna see dead fish. Um, there, he, there he is right here. So. I just pulled everything out of my fish tank on the back wall, so everything is starting to grow in. I should really do an update on my 75 gallon because it's changed a lot since the last time I posted. But um, yeah, you just have to be patient, making sure that you acclimate them well and uh, basically good clean water and the right perimeters are uh, the best for these fish. So this is it for now and I will talk to you guys later.